Castro, Jeter Sombero, John Bondok, and uh, RB Bringas. And uh, we're just about ready. Tip. And Bataano wins the tip. James Castro fires and he'll get the bounce. Always a good sign when you're on your first shot, you make it. And then it's a shooter's bound time for Ming. He opens up today with that first three. Gomaro. They go to Mark Sarana. Eh? Started the season with San Juan, actually. Sana is offline. Jeffrey Sombrero with a rebound. Uh, interesting start defensively by Bataan. We mentioned this earlier about how you know a guy like Paul Sana shot the lights out. He was the one that took the first shot. They were in a zone. That's why he, he took the shot right there. Dorado. The one-hander from Bonto. And because of the shot by James Castro, nobody clogging the middle right there. That's an easy shot for Bondo. He has always had a nice touch inside the paint. Gomaro for three. Yes. Don Gomaro gets Sarangani on the board. Sarangani missing Ivan Ludovice. And the Kitty Menes that's their starting backcourt. So, the depth nila masusubukan ngayong gabi. Ang maganda dito sa Sarangani, sa napakit mo. <laughs> Ayun, a little ankle breaker. No? Sasabihin ko pa lang, Don Gumaro has always been a reliable guard. Whether he's starting, play for uh, Arellano. Arellano. As you see, he beats the buzzer right there. Itong uh, bataan. So far, 3 of 3, ha? itong bataan. Gumaro answers no. Matapik na po takay Sanga off the glass and is. Nilapit ni Paul Sanga after missing his first shot from downtown. That was a perimeter shot using and kissing it off the glass. John Bondo. Here's Sombero on the right side. Bondo picks it up at the top of the key. Crossover against Kauna. Difficult shot. Pass off. Para kay John Bondo. Get a bonus on that move. Well, this is something that we don't see John Bondo used to do. You know, at least what, two years ago before we resumed. Huh? Top of the key crossover, left to right usually. That's an elbow. Yeah, about a pinch pose area. He loves the jab. He loves that 15 to 18 footer. This time takes it all the way to the basket and a nice finish. For the two plus one kind of reminds me of a young Christian one <laughs> with without the hops. Move mo yan ni. Pag nakatanggap ka sa gitna eh, may crossover day. Boy, you really miss me, huh? Flips it up and in, and uh, both teams starting out well offensively here. Pinawi yan naman. Ito strength ni Jordan sa taan na to. Especially in transition, this time in, ha in the half court. That zone has to be much better. Tatlong tao ang iniwanan niya, no? And he'll have a, a three-point play himself para bawihin yung nangyari sa kabila. Yeah, Jordan Satana, parang yung mga players na parang pag nag-drive at dinawakan yung bola, nag-rip na. Parang hindi mo ba tatanggat? Oo. Oh, Diro-diretso, either mapapaul ka na lang o makakalik. He's, he's such a strong guard. Play for USD, play for Letran. Chris Dorado got hit, but he will be whistled for the foul. And shoulder yata ito mama. Ni uh, Jordan Satana, tiyo mo dito. Ay, hindi na. Oh, right there. The elbow. So, I'm curious what the call is. Before... I see Santa Ana. Right there. She's laughing it off. Alam mong... Ano, ano, ano? Alam mong ano? Alam mong, ako, sasabihin ko lang. <laughs> sa basketball, bihirang umaamin ang player. Pero sa pagkakataong ito, umamin ka agad si Bringas. 
Let's just leave it at that. Oh, okay na. Okay na. Okay na. Okay na. Mike Sarangay. Yung dilap sa Gumaro. Ang Costa. Santa Ana ngayon. They go to Gumaro from the corner. That's another three. That's a beautiful pass, but a better improve of position by Donald Gomaro to get himself wide open for his second three of the ball game as they get into double figures. Gilmer De La Torre in the game. Here's Castro. Nakawala, James Castro. No good. Bring us with offensive rebound. Goes to the other side. Arby bring us. Santa Ana. On the move, could not finish. Go no, back the other way, Matan. Bring us. Castro attacks down the middle. Lost it, turnover. Santa Ana is away. And Gilmer De La Torre with a hard foul. And so hard, he ended up at the back of the rim. And even uh, went through one of our panels right there. But this was a two-on-one break. I thought, even though he went up strong, he had a chance to drop it off. Maybe try to stop in the air and drop it off to Paul Sanga. Last couple of plays, uh, Santana has been a recipient for some, some uh, hard fouls. Tulad ng sinabi natin, he's a strong guard. And he's certainly uh, proving as right. Madami pa nang matanggap niya so far. Oh. Wala pa tayong ano, kalahati sa first quarter. Even nung uh, he was in the air, no? na control niya yung... John Bondok goes to the bench. Pinasok na si Jamil Gabawan. There are just players that you're not used to seeing other uniforms. I think Jamil Gabawan is one of them. We're used to seeing wearing red. <laughs> As he used to play for San Juan. An offensive foul turnover about us a white shirt. Well, Jamil Gabawan is a homegrown player uh, from Batan. After 11 and nothing score as uh, Sarangani is still on top. Five and a half minutes remaining. Let's go to Sheila Saleta. Mas pinaghas na Sarangani ang makita ngayon dahil sa mga nadagdag na players. Mark Sarangay, Maki Akot. He, he, came, he came into the season uh, like a man on a mission really. Christian, parang you know, he's taken over this, you know, he's taken charge of this team. Not a lot of big names as we mentioned. But, you know, taking over the leadership mantle and, and syempre, you know, ang dami niya pwedeng gawin sa court eh. Totoo yan. At uh, eto si James Castro. Alam naman natin, whether he's coming off the bench or starting to, let's, uh, for the most part this season, is that he can really score the basketball. I think the difference this season kay James Castro, as you mentioned, you can just feel no, yung maturity niya, see yung maturity niya and feel nga yung responsibilidad that he is accepting yung role dito sa batan. It's always nice. I, I believe, sit up, there's always something about a player. If you're a good player and then you're a homegrown player, there's more to it. It means more, not only to yourself, but also to, to the team and to the community. You know, and uh, eventually has an impact sa liga natin kasi yun yung liga natin eh. Yeah. No? And uh, nakikita natin yung mga supporters, no? Minsan you can see like a certain batch, whether it's 10 to 20 people at the back of the bench, makikita mo pinupuntahan yung homegrown na player na yun. And uh, you know, it's one of the nice stories this season as Santa Ana fires that uh, air ball. Here's James Castro on the open court. Castro, offensive foul. Yeah, similar, I think similar stories like Daniel Beloria, uh, John Nerval, Marky, and McCollot. And even Ian Melencio in the first part, not first, first yeah, two he's seasons. Back in, he's back in Bacor. He's back in Bacor now. 
So, ang ganda eh. May, may nasusunta ng, uh, may nasusunta ng tao. And speaking of nasusundan, itong pinasok ni Sabataan, si uh, Gio Escuelas is also a homegrown player. That's in season one, yeah. Right. Let, let me just add, by the way, because we mentioned earlier, obviously, the stellar start ni Tompataan. 6-2, and two, you know, they were led by their head coach, uh, J.R. Villanueva, I believe, you know, who departed ways basically with them with itong Bataan and uh, nag take over na sa Bataan itong si coach Frederick Francisco and James Castro back the other way 16 to 14 ang ating score after that layup Naki Acosta for three no iba ni Gilmer de la Torre Naki Acosta sorry about that yeah. Yeah. yeah in a blue shirt right now and uh was recently released by uh, San Juan, kaya nakita natin dito sa Sarangani. Pareha sila niya, no? Mark Sarangani. Correct. Ano sila? Reunion with their... Uh, Kaloocan coach. Kaloocan coach. <laughs> si uh, Coach John Calios. Uh, oh, I have yet to see smile so far in itong uh, game na to. Coaches are never happy. Take it from me. <laughs> Castro with that fast break layup. Parang may, uh, may control yung laro ni James Castro. Ito. And it's a, it's a thing of beauty. So parang sobra comfortable niya in his role, in uh, his abilities. Escuelas, in this. The kick out. Castro for three. In and out. De La Torre flying high for the rebound. Escuelas again. Espuelas with a turnaround shot, in and out. Rebound to Gabi Espinas. Here's Antoy Estrella. Antoy, stop and pop. Nope. Espuelas ahead to Castro. Waits for Gabawan to finish. And that's the one that you mentioned earlier, Sidel. You control the Castro. Look at this one. Beautiful forward pass. This was a three-on-one break. And then he waits, and then Gabawan, easy layup on the three on one. The way you should finish a fast break. Sarangani sues for time as uh, Bataan is off to a scintillating start. Anilang lava dito sa San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Nasa up na tayo na signal play. 1 3 1 zone by Bataan. After a matchup man to man possessions before, beautiful jump pass by Acosta to Espinas. And that's what happens when you have an outside threat you know, in uh, Maki Acosta. As well as quick trigger. Nope. Ooh, what a tip in. Bilugan, one of those uh, young athletic. Uh, high leapy players ng uh, Bataan Saka fired the three, yes uh, Shifting defense, that time it was a 2-3 zone by Bataan Dalawang beses din Nakashoot itong uh, Sarangani Tignan natin maging adjustment ng Bataan At the next defensive possession Bilugan throws it up No Estrella, natapik Bilugan Gets it back as well as off the glass. Uh, just the turnovers that should not happen. Careless pass right there. Led to a fast break, quick fast break on the other end. Estrella down the middle. Pero Mingan for three. No. Escuelas with a rebound. Gabawan. Gabawan. Turnaround shot gets the bounce. Now that was a nice move by Gabao. That's experience for you. He got the move on the catch, on the run, able to stop on the dime and make the basket. Another turnover and a beautiful fast break. Four versus one finish for Bataan. Nakaiba talaga tong kilos kaya ng Bataan na pinsan. Guys like Gio Escuelas, you know, Bilugan, who you will probably not see in a rotation of other teams, right. probably. You know, this is my first time really to watch Bataan live. Th to me, they look like a college team who has, you know, two imports, so to speak, like James Castro, the experience at the at si uh, Bringas, at si Gabawan. Pero, 
most faces and the way they move, parang mga collegiate players eh. Ang, ang liliksi. De La Torre for three. No, oh, Pintugan again. Out of nowhere. Hindi pa nga binabalik si Chris Torado eh. Naminado ako, isa sa mga favorite players ko this season, si Chris Torado. Sayang, eh, tinamaan siya kanina, hindi siya nakabalik agad. Hindi siya nakakalaro. 26-19. Lumaro. Sanga. Steps to the other side. Yes! Oh, Sanga has picked up from where he left off against Montenupa. Hit seven the last game. Already has a couple. And just in the first quarter. And that's in rhythm. So, so Del, I don't care who you are. Anytime you beat the buzzer, you have two threes. And you're off balance, you can put out the arrow just like Paul Sanga did. Masayad experience in the last ng panalo ni Lau as a win head coach Frederick Francisco as their head. Dahil ito daw ang kanyang unang panalo in the pro, uh, professional league. While a lot of uh, the teams are welcoming players from the free agent pool, the risers prefer to stick with their current lineup. Coach Frederick gives credit to his players for carrying out successfully in their previous game. They're a young team, fast paced plays, which is an advantage for them. With Dante Pagio out, Coach Frederick isn't worried much dahil alam niya kaya po na ng kanya mga players kung sino man ang pula. Balik sa inyo. Maraming salamat sila. So, there you have it. Uh, uh, Gistorado, uh, half-inch cut. And uh, it looks like ba makakabalik pa naman siya sa laro. And, uh, so, Interesting for Bataan, no? Hindi na sila nagdagdag na player for uh, from free agency as Pero Mingan hits the jumper. At that time with a counter move right to left, Pero Mingan, nice looking jumper right there. I just have to say the possession before Jamil Gabawan. Is it just me or the improvement on the post? No, maybe it's just a new scenery for him. That's two post moves already in this game. He was more of a role player, banger, rebounder. Oh, that's the second one. Oh. Dona Gomaro puts it in and we're tied at 26. Dixie Peromian again involved. Seven points for the Dona Gomaro. And also the eight point in transition for Sarangani, something that Coach Frederick will certainly address heading into the half. Ron Astemosa throws up a near ball. Seven seconds on the shot clock in the uh, uh, Bataan. Uh, if you take a look at that fast break, finished by uh, Donald Tomaro. Inside, Escuelas could not finish. David is fouled by Gabby Is yeah, Is that his second foul? Gabby Espinas, it's first. It's first. Si Paul Sanga, magugustuhan ko yung mga subs ni Coach Chad. Oo naman. <laughs> Sa ganda ba naman ng percentage mo so far? At biglang pina, may dalawa kang uh, malalaki, di ba? Kopyan sa kalalo to, may rin. David misses on the first. Twin Towers ang uh, pinasok ni Coach Chad. But I, I think we've seen Paul Sanga long enough that kahit hindi Twin Towers ang kasabay niya, Basan li may konting puang bibirat bibirat. Then may karapatan din naman talaga siya. That's true. Here's Gomaro pushing the pace. Donald Gomaro. Great aggressive move there. Kaya para kay Donald Gomaro na ako siya foul. Certainly, it was a two versus three break. We're in. Yung two ang nagsaksid dahil bang end up sa two shots yata si Donald Gomaro. So again, the transition defense an issue so far. Para sa bataan. Don Gumaro with 8 points. 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 Don Gumaro with 8 
28 to 26. And Zedef, I want to correct myself. Now, the fast break points is only five points, including the free throws. I know. Uh, the points in the paint is the one we were, I was referring to earlier with the six points. Romano misses. Dorado, nagmamadali. Dorado finds uh, David, who lost the handle. Pero Mingan, bounce pass. There you nice go. Nice pass to Gabriel. Have to do a better job of staying in between the ball if you're David. Maaga masyado yung salubong dito. Or if you're Gabawan rather. And an easy layup by Gabriel. Sarangani off to a really good start in the second quarter. Nating naban, it's a 8 to nothing run to start the period. And uh, Batan calls the timeout. They go, pero Mingan uses the Sarangay pick. Medyo masikip, pero Mingan flips it up and in. Kung si Paul Sanga, konting puwang, titira, pero Mingan, ganun din. Doon sa play na yun. Medyo masikip, no? A little poor spacing right there, pero no problem. Para kay Paroming pero Mingan for that one-hander sa free throw. That's a poor foul. That's a poor foul. I'm not sure if it's on Peromingan or, Sa or Sarangay. But still, that's a poor foul. Fading away from the basket was Pringas. So this was the play by Peromingan. You see three white shirts na katriangulo sa kanya. And yet able to make the basket. Patulis yung muna tira niya. RB Pringas ko. Two points, three rebounds, and two assists so far. One for two. Are we bring us? Yeah. Almost 10 points per ball game. Leads the team with 7.25 rebounds. And also is the second player in their team. Second or third. Zilini Gabawan had about 25 minutes per game. Tawa ni Gumaro ang bola. They got one. No, Castro just lost the handle. Here's Dorado. Dorado trying to go the other way. That's a foul. Frustration foul by Dorado right there. Trying to get the ball back, which usually happens, but then every time you could hit the turnover. Gawain mo yan, inalala ko sa Google. Now, we're not all good for you. But technically, was it a technical no. no, no, no. oh, you know. Warning lang. No, Ay, technical. technical. Ah, okay. It has not been his day, Chris Dorado. Chris Na bilip na bilip ako kay kay Cristo Rado. Okay, it's second half. It's second half. It's second half. Ano eh? Ah, nababasa sa YouTube eh, nagsearch ako sa. Sige, ha to gali. Okay. Wait, ano siya eh, mga video na nasa kanila, nilalaro. Tora tora tora. Ganda naman noon. Oo. Ano mo naman ang 
tawag mga ganyan story. Oh, you, uh, right now, if you're interested in a player, no, na parang hindi mo kilala, in YouTube mo na, may, mayroon at mayroon ka magkikita. <laughs> Pero mingan, Paul Sana for three, pasokan! Gotta love it. He was ang layo, but he was in rhythm. You know, and he knew even before he got the pass that he had a slight opening. He read the defense already. Yeah, bring us double team could not make the shot. Osana corner. Gomaru. Nope. He wanted to bring us. Not sure if that was the best shot in that situation, especially with a hot hand. In Osana, who I thought was wide open in the left corner. 14 to 1 of scoring this quarter. No, but the hand. Yeah. yeah. And this is the three point shot of the game brought to you by Extreme. One stop shop appliances, Paul Sana. On fire. And that's just poor defense. Paul Sana, I believe that's his third three of the ball game. Anytime na katalawana, especially a shooter, a known shooter like Paul Sana. You should take away the shot and force him to put the ball on the deck. But instead, he sees daylight, he's gonna knock it down. A no conscience shooter. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Dapat naman talaga ang shooter, wala po tsensya. Sino mo dito nangyari as Castro could not take off it Omega. Ayun. Yeah. Castro, yun. Yes, yun yung hindi natin nakita on live play. Bukong nga na to, ang sportsman. I just love it when people are in denial even though we know video does not lie. <laughs> Three game penalty line, a small session. Pero Mian, not the line. 36-37, Bataan has yet make a field goal in the second quarter. And we're uh, more than halfway through it. At dahil sa foul na yun, nilabas si James Castro, pangalawa niya na kasi yun, halfway pa lang tayo dito sa second quarter. Sarangani has a chance to get their biggest lead into double figures if they make a basket here. That's a foul. Clearly on the wrist. A defense an issue for the Bataan, obviously, whether they've been in a zone or a matchup, it feels like the Sarangani has just had their way, whether shooting from the outside or driving to the basket, to the Huling drive to Gumaro. I thought that Gumaro has had a solid first half, but he misses the first free throw. You, know, you have to remember, Sarangani without Ivan Dutubise, without Kit Jimenez, the top scorer. Quite disappointing, quite disappointing actually. I was looking forward to watching it. Maybe some other time. Maybe you should cover more offense. You should cover more offense. Let me ask what's good. <laughs> De la Torre! Who just left for the States, by the way? Ah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, and also other UAB, other UAB coaches, even other UAB coaches, it's no secret, it's on social media, even Coach Baldavid will be there from UST. Actually, that, that score earlier by De La Torre, that's the first field goal in the second quarter for Batangas, uh, for uh, Bataan. Sombero, out to bring us, foul away from the ball, Santa Ana. Refusing to give an inch. Third person up. 
I'm sorry. First, first round. Taken away by Gabriel and Gomaro. Good job. Complete that play. De La Torre. Nagma Madale. De La Torre bothered by the D of Gabriel. Oh, what a play by Paul Sanga. Did you see that? Basket saving play right there. What a defensive stop by Sarangani. Usually it's a four point swing. No chance to score by Gomaro. Pagbaba, nakatakbo itong bataan. They get the stop and a save by Paul Sang and defensively. Donald Gumaro. Hit him on for uh, Sarangani. They go down low to Gabriel. Sarangay. Santa Ana attack. Santa Ana drops it off to Sarangay. Who puts it in? And one. <laughs> Added in the sending to save De La Torre. Too big. Too strong on that play. This was a beautiful drive and drop using the bounce. And look at Sarangay, how he made himself big underneath. He made sure that La Torre was behind him. You know, that was a tough angle also. And a poor job by Bataan of giving up the three-point play. Sarangay has a chance to complete it. Sarangay reunited with coach uh, John Kalios. You know what they say when you reunite? It feels so, so good. good. Certainly feeling good right now, it's Mark. 40 to 29. Sombero. Gabriel Anakabantai. It's a foul on John Gabriel. I thought Gabriel did an excellent job of taking away the shot and sliding. For about two seconds right there. Ang problema, no, inusli niya yung katawan niya eh. Pero kung hinabon niya sa harapan to, no, he would have been there to force the offensive player, Kasi Sombero, to shoot over him. 40 to 30, just four points for Bataan in the period. Sarangani has, has 18. It's been a weird pace in the last three minutes after a, a really you know, frantic uh, first quarter. Uh, well, at least after that incident with uh, Torado. Sanga. Jacob Gumaro. Here's Santa, Santa, Santa Ana. Kicks it out. The big pass. Extra pass for Sanga again. That's for Sanga. There's a foul away from the ball. That's what his fifth. Paglimang tres na yan. He Paul Sanga. He got 15 points. Oh, what a first half! I'm sure we're gonna see the replay. I think the most impressive one right here is how he met the ball. It wasn't the best pass coming from Gumaro, but you see, he turns around. That's something that we didn't see on live play. That's a highlight right there. That's a top five to me. Look at this. Hindi ba tumatawa na ring? He turns around. Wow. Yung pala. Sumitap to pass. Hindi, hindi ko kaya yan. Yung ginawa niya yun ha. Ngayon ko lang nakita yan dito sa MPBL. Hindi pa umaabot sa ring, nakatalikod na. Takes a lot of guts para gawin yan because you better make sure papasok yung tira mo. Things getting chippy here. But then again, a foul away from the play, left to the free throws, we walk to the other side. And then another foul this time against Bataanaman. So Mark Sarangay back at the line. This is the former Papua Cardinal. Nakia Posta College. It, it seems so long <laughs> ago. Oh, oh. Honestly. Oh, inabot ko ba yan? Naging teammate ko rin yan sa Navy. Talaga? Oh. 
sila yeah, nila. Yung early years of sports writing sa Inquirer, yun yung mga, sila yung mga players na kinakover. Nang Mapua, no? Uh, De La Peña. Kelvin De La Peña, yeah. yun. A good friend of mine is now back in Canada. He's the mentor of uh, one of our players, Antonio Sebio. Masanga! Masanga with the offensive rebound. Could not get the bounce. Magawan sa bola. Bataan wins it. Gio Escuelas. Smooth move, pero kundi na paso. <laughs> what a stick back. So, Juan. Wow. Medyo mahirap na oh, move back yun. Up yun <laughs> Mas maganda bang eh, sa doon sa side step eh. Lead is a 10 points for Salangani. Bumaru. Naagaw ni Sungguan. Good pass. Oh, what a pass to Gio Espuelas. Si Donald Bumaru na mismo. Okay, Beth looking for their ninth win of the campaign. Yeah, but it was Bataan who started out uh, the better of the two teams. As John Bondok scores right there. Jordi Santana was heavily involved uh, in the offense of Sarangani. They're missing a couple of key players in their starting rotation. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Bataan, and then thanks to James Castro, also on a roll in the first period. But the nagbago ang complexion ng laro when it became more of a half court game in the second period. Right, and, and that's something that I'm sure in address no, sa, sa locker room nitong uh, Bataan. Because it, it feels like they've tried almost everything already. We saw them in a 1-3-1, in a 2-3 zone. Uh, this was the defense where they were in a 2-3 zone. And then Sanga got his rhythm, obviously. And then uh, adjust it out with, with the hard closeouts. But I thought, that, you know, this is a game where in you see the numbers are deceiving. In almost all categories, this was a buzzer beater by Maki Aposa. I thought this was a big shot. And this could have weight, you know, depending on the, especially in the first five minutes in Laro, especially if it's Dave or Sarangani, you know, and even he can't believe it. But you look at the numbers right here, 40 to 45 percent, okay? And this is this fight of Sarangani taking seven less shots, lamang sila ng walo. Three point, three point field goals really was the difference in this game it, so far in the first half. Obviously, Paul Sanga, credit to him. Gumaro also had some two quick ones. That's why they're shooting way above their average. This team is averaging about 25% from three. Free throws. Both 15 attempts at the line, but obviously, Sarangani shooting much better, making 10. Assist is the same. You know, Medyo costly para sa akin. Number one, yung kay Torado, yung paborito mong manlalaro. At itong si James Castro, who had a good five-minute sit-down because of foul trouble. Pinasok siya nung huli. Nakascore siya. And the three-point shot by Paul Sanga, which extended the lead, mabigat din yun. Kaya ito, Paul Sanga, Don Gumaro, has more than half no, of, the, of the 49 points isang ng Sarangani having 28. Kaya... Nag-enjoy sila dito ng walo, papasok ng third quarter. Now, Chris Torado is going to start the third period for Bataan. Medyo na-bother siya dun sa medyo malaking bandage niya. Ngayon, band-aid na lang <laughs> ang ilagay niya. So here he is together with James Castro. And uh, of course, uh, Jetro Sopero, Harvey Bringas, and Jamil Gabawan. You have yet to see RB bring us go to work, uh, especially underneath. Uh, Bataan begins. Very good possession. Here's RB. Gives it up to James Castro. Well, he was also a guy that was settled with foul trouble. We'll talk about RB bring us. And you know, right on cue, he had two fouls in the first half, but he gets the first two points. He just a uh, third quarter. Salvo Munita si Torado, who also had three fouls. Actually, nung uh, lumapit si Arby, narinig ko siguro yung sinabi <laughs> natin na oh. pinatasapan siya. Sa taan, uh, short, zumbero. Dangerous pass. It's a turnover. Gumaro, in trouble. Paul Sanga, nakatawid. Jordan sa taan na ngayon. A-attacke, drops it off to Gabriel. Off the glass and in. Matawagan ng foul or unsportsmanlike? Hindi. 
the incident here with uh, Dendo Salvero and... And I say that because usually you mga tatlong succeeding na pito na marinig mo. Ito. Uh, konting kiskisan lang. Interesting kung anong tatawag ng uh, officials natin dito. To me, this is a play on. Maybe a warning. Pero hindi na kailangan ng unsportsman like that. Double foul. There you go. Third foul on uh, Don Gabriel. A quick shout out sa Ubo ng uh, One Batan Rises Kamako, team owner Goody Ilagan, of course supported by Governor Joel Garcia, Vice Governor Chris Garcia, Congressman Abed Garcia, Congressman Gila Garcia, Mayor Charlie Pizarro, Mayor Tony Pep Raimundo, Mayor Nelson David, May, uh, Vice Mayor Richie David, as Jeno Sobero with scores on the tip in, Mayor Tong Santos, Councilor Gary David, na naglalaro sa Manila, and Mayor Francis Garcia. Of course, their LGU coordinator, Elrin Oximoso, team coordinator, Ricky Maliksi, and of course, United Happy Birthday, Miraniel Regalado Maliksi. So, uh, tinapos ko na. Ayun, ang pinaka-interesting na sinabi mo ron eh, Councilor Gary David na naglalaro sa Manila. <laughs> Kinailangan kong tuktungan. The baka, irony. Baka hanapin siya dito sa line of the Oo. Pero ang bigat, no? Nung huling nangyari si Del, pang-apat, pang-apat na foul na ni James Castro. Which means, uupo siya probably until the five-minute mark ng fourth quarter. Mahapang panahon yun. Here's Santana. They go to Sanga. Hang, hangs in the air. Kumaro. That's a great deep. That's great deep for uh, Bataan in that sequence. I thought he had a chance to return it, though. There was about two seconds left on the shot clock for Paul Sang. Uh, pero bring us ito. But they're batting on the glass now. Siturado. <laughs> Ayun, pero yung bola. Alam niya kasi doon babagsak eh. Ayun lang, turnover. Sayang yun. Santa Ana goes to Gamaru on layup. There's a foul. Escuelas. Wow. Doon lang, doon lang ako nakakita ng play. Nauna yung player sa bola. Yung bola yung <laughs> lumapit. Pero it led to the fast break. I thought Santa Ana should have taken this one to the basket all the way. If that was a big guy like uh, Gabawan, tulad na nakita natin ng first half, that would have been the right play. But Santa Ana, certainly a better finisher on the break. Kay Gumaru, bakit yung natatawa pa rin? Siturado mo ba? Nasa side pa eh. Alam niya nga kasi, parang propeta eh. Alam niya doon babagsak ang bola. Ba't mo pinasa lang doon sa sasakik eh? Bigla siguro din si Sobe. It's an 8-point lead now for Sarangani. Here's Torado. Attacks the middle. Tora, Tora! Just could not finish. Santa Ana. Hanap si Acosta, passed up on the shot, Gomaru, nice pass to Gabriel. Ligtis lang ang kanyang uh, tira. Dorado. Nice spacing here, bring us with the ball fake! And then all, some things never change. Oh. That's an RV bring us trademark move. High school pala, napanood ko na yan. Ma mamaya. Ito, so, oh, oh, high school ako, elementary. <laughs> Mamaya makikita natin business decision ni Paul Sanga. No? Hindi na sumara doon sa drive ni Pregnas. Ayaw sumalubong. Nakosta well defended by Gabawan. Torado leading the break. Here's Jamil. Gabawan could not finish. Escuelas denied on the stick back. Santa Ana nagmamadali. Santa Ana challenges the D of Bringas. He will not win that battle. And Gabawan sails in for the deuce. A little helter skelter basketball. Yung mga tatlo, apat na baba ng dalawang kopo na. Kaya medyo may mga hinihingal na. Ayun. Kalahati pa lang hindi ay okol na. Ito. Kaya maraming papasok para sa 
sarangani. Iba ang ano, epekto ng kape sa'yo, no? Sa <laughs> tubas. Hindi. Nagtaro kasi kami kagabi nila, Mr. Emer Oreta. Ah, nakita ko nga eh. Eh, isang balik pa rin. Ayaw na namin. Tingil na. Tingil na. Gabby Espinas against Bringas. Patent. <laughs> That is classic Gabby Espinas. Napapaniginipan ni Atong Tolentino yun. Kanyang coach sa PCU dati kung saan nanalo sila ng kampiyon. Pero ang sportsman lang fall. Oh, si Santa Ana yata ito. Kay Sombero. Tignan natin, no? Kasi kung close fist yan. No? Possible uh, F2. F2 yan. Oh, based on the reaction, ha? Hindi namin nakita, no? Uh, dahil uh, we, were, we, we were reminiscing doon sa paglalaro nila well, well, Tomas well, kagabi. Well, it was away from the ball. Uh, and uh, the ball was still in the backcourt. Oh, oh yun. Uh, and we we'll have to wait on uh, the decision here. So, pero looks okay. Ito. Ayun. Wala. Wala naman. Ah, wala. Actually, parang nauna pa kasi spoil us eh. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Probably a close fist, pero even sa replay, correct me if I'm wrong, parang... Hindi, hindi conclusive hindi, doon. Hindi, oo. Oh. Pero may mas magandang angulo siguro yung mga officials natin na hindi natin pinakita, no? Jordan Santana has been hot under the collar kanina. Especially what happened to uh, Torado. Ayan Some words as well. No, well they, they, got, they, gotta put, they gotta get Sombero and the bring us under control too. Brother, yeah. No, oh. they, well, they cannot allow that also. Correct. No. Eh din, bumasok na nga head of security natin. Kung hindi pa sila matakot sa lewa ko na. Hindi pwede rin. You gotta show some class. If you don't believe me, i-YouTube nyo si Kuya Rudy as distrito. Of course, Satana already out of the play court. So Vero here, he's preparing to take these free throws. There's a play right here. There's his Vuelas. There you go. Yeah. Because Santa Ana reacted to Sombero. Well, this is the benefit of the replay. Kung walang replay, obviously, hindi makikita yung nangyayari. No, yung pinagmulan. And on that play, ang nagsimula ay si Sumpero. Nag-react itong si uh, Santa Ana. At uh, ang resulta, dalawa sila disqualifying call. They had to look at it again. Oh. So that cancels out right. both disqualifying fouls. And uh, Coach John Carlos. Oh, wag, wag, hindi naman mahirap basahin kung ano yung sinasabi niya kahit hindi natin na rinig. <laughs> Kayo na po ang bahala mag-interpret nun. Lalo na kung may subtitle yung remote yun. Buti wala siyang mic. And RV Bringas has also been warned. So, everything under control right. and we're back. But I think the the question is, can you know, mabigat na kawalan? No? It cancels it out dahil pantay, dalawa sila na wala. Bring us, agresibo ngayon third quarter, ha? Yeah. Came out with a uh, fire in his eyes. Oh. And, you know, there, there are plenty of uh, big men to uh, right. deal with him in for Salagani. <laughs> Narar nararamdaman ko rito eh yung banggaan ng dalawang yan parang si Ihonda at si Zanjip alam mo yung atalim ng mundo to partner <laughs> partner ng lalim yun oh, ah Street Fighter classic yan classic yan <laughs> nag-arcade ka pa nun ah <laughs> uh, 
Instagram. Nasa ano naman yun? Nasa Nintendo Switch sa kap. Ano okay, yun? okay, diba? okay. Ang inabutan ko kasi sa arcade. Ito. So, pero grabe yung banggaan na yun. Oh, si Mark Sarangay ha. Mabigat na ano yan. Mabigat na matang, matanda yan. <laughs> eh, Sanga. Great day here for uh, Bataan. Extended na yung depensa nila. Sanga for three. Ano? Ano And, sabi mo? Ano sabi mo? It doesn't matter. Oh. It doesn't matter. 58 to 51. Paul Sanga staying hot. That's his fifth three of the night. Again, if you're Bataan, a challenge the way Sanga has been shooting is not enough. You have to force him to put the ball on the deck. Escuela short on the jumper. Dorado right there, getting in the mix. Dong Bondok inside. Yeah, that's gonna be on Gumaru. Gumbo, Bondok, no? Medyo nanahimik after that early three-point play in the first quarter. They're gonna need his production. It, it's really, it, it really uh, amazes me sometimes. Ito, yung uh, composition nitong bataan team. Parang... On paper, it's odd. Yeah, and then diba? there, there's just yung mga players nila parang yung discard eh pag nandun sa loob uh -huh. andun eh parang nawawala minsan yung uh, star play at pero uh, matinding yung discard ng mga players na uh, bataan eh let's go to Sheila Salaysa Sabi mo nga matinding yung discard eh ito mga players ng bataan kaya ang reminder sa kanila ni Coach Freddy going into this quarter they need to uh, alter their defense from 2-3 zone to man-to-man -to, -man to allow or to uh, stop the shooters of Sarangani. So far, Sarangani's game plans are working. Coach John uh, Callas' plays are uh, able to convert points and he jokingly added, hindi niya ganong ramdam ang absent ng kanilang ibang players dahil sa pinapakita ng, ng uh, kanyang team right now. But, the interesting part is, tingnan natin paano may ibatakbo ng laro ng two teams with a FT violation committed ni Jordan Santa Ana and Jethro Sombero to escort them out of the playing court. Malik sa inyo. Well, thank you so much, Sheila, and uh... Great insights from all coaches. And, alam mo naman, uh, Coach John Callos has uh, had experience here with uh, the MPBL. Coach Frederick, bagito, pero looks very capable. Two misses para kay RV bring us on that trip. Lead stage at six for Saragan. So Estrella, Estrella pulls up, no, rebound, Jamil Gabawa. A little slow to get into their offense that time, I knew me got yung ball, I end up with a not so good shot. Bring us. Gabawa, shot clock at eight, Espelas trying to force it inside to uh, RV Bring us. Segundo, natitira sa shot clock. Torado na libre. Down to soft for Sanga. Torado. Joe Sobondo attacks the middle. That's an air ball and the shot clock expires. On uh, Bataan once again. So a chance to extend, obviously, by Sarangani under four minutes remaining. Dito sa ating third quarter, in the low-scoring quarter, no? at least compared to the first two, 11 to 9 so far, lamang ang pataan dito sa quarter. Here's Sanga for three. No? Sarangani with offensive rebound. Sanga relocates. Sanga. In and out. In and out. Here's Torado. No sign of James Castro. He has four fouls. Espuelas with a runner. And he's losing confidence at the moment, Gio Espuelas. And he's been very aggressive on both ends. Talk about Espuelas, whether it's shooting the basketball or attacking the offensive glass. Gabby Espinas did not make a shot. Dorado ahead to Espuelas. Escuela spins and puts it in. 
kanina sinukat yung depensa nitong si Paul Sanga, you know, whether 8 kilos, 10 kilos, 12 kilos, spin cycle washing machine yung galaw na yun. Ito, bawian sana ni Ando Estrella, inside they go, sarangay. Ayan, ayun na naman si ano, si Zanji. <laughs> Bang tinginan sila eh. Let's watch this uh, epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet. Own the win, Gio Escuelas. Four straight points para sa homegrown player ng Bataan. One of those players na, you know, saw the evolution of this team, stuck with it, and now are reaping the benefits of uh, learning from all of those players previously. And as a team na to, For two, para kay Mark Sarang ay nakuha ni Abby Bringas ang rebound. Mondo. Oh. Inside pass to Gabawan. That was a tough pass. But good defensive stance by Sarangani. Estrella. Fouled by Gilmer De La Torre. Or John Mondo, rather. Pangalawa. Poor transition defense once again. And uh, all the way to the basket, nobody stopping the ball. is Andoy, he's, he's going to get two free throws at the line. Two-point game. Ayun. And, you know, that's the great things are going the way this game has developed. Oh. You have to keep your emotions in check. Because there's a lot of there. There's a thrown out na for an F2. There are two players. Na yun. And the referees will call it tight. Sometimes in basketball, it's just a relation. It's just a relation. You have to move forward quickly. Do you think that's so easy? Yeah. Kala mo lang yun. Pero siyempre, kailangan mo mag-move on oh. talaga. But, uh, hindi madali. Gilmer de la Torre. 60 to 56 ang ating uh, talaan niya yan. Uh, Escuelas. That's a foul. No hesitation. And that's gonna be free throws para kay Paul Sanga. He, he can add to his... Uh, Stellar production so far, and he needs these uh, these free throws. No, obviously, medyo uh, struggling itong uh, quarter at least compared to the first two, and it always helps to get to the line. Bosana, 18 points the former for Eastern University Camarao. That's 20. That's 20 rather. Oh, mabigat din mga kasabayan nito. R.R. Garcia, R.R. Stromio. At least na papasahan siya, natakakatira siya. Ang dami. Uy, MVP yun. Yung mga big man nila, Real Cervantes. Oo, oo. Cervantes. Jamil Gabawan has four fouls, has to go back to the bench. The bit is in the ballgame. Gio Escuelas. Has had a great second period, not third quarter. Monta was wide open in the Toro Ga, no? Let's go to the end. He didn't miss Mahira from the Pasa, top out. Baseline inbound right here. They go to De La Torre. Escuelas pulls back. Here's De La Torre. Bring us, fires at three. Nope. Pero Mingan with the rebound. Binigay kay Estrella. Andoy. Hangs in the air, out to Mackie, a cost stopper three. And these are some timely hits by Mackie. From Mackie, a cost a nine point lead on the mark ng Sarangani. Seven to nothing run, 58 56 yan kanina. I'm not sure if that was the first intent yan doy, but up in the air, able to adjust and get pasa in a sorry miss by Bringa. Sarangani can extend to double figures. Here's the steal, De La Torre. Sportsman, I call that a 
Fast break, you check him out, patience natin. Sprinter ito si Gilatore. Buti na lang may konting na nalabit, natakalabit. It looks like there was a player uh, behind me, I saw him. Otherwise, he had a clear lane. The referees for this ball game. Where's the answer? Edmar Avis, Severino Bingol, Hiram Scott. Play for the ball. Right. Well. And he knew it right away. He knew it right away. Kahit na wala pang senyas yung uh, officials natin, obviously with the benefit of the replay. And that could be costly. No, para sa kanila dahil ang ganda ng momentum nila had a, had a chance to extend a turnover. And then ito na, shoot ni Delatore, dalawang free throw. Don't look now, kung makashoot sila rito, 5 or 4 point lead na lang doon. Okay, 6 points para kay Gilmer De La Torre. But for sure, Bataan will have a well-rested but foul play James Castro in uh, the fourth. Here's De La Torre. Inside, Escuelas, short. Put back, wala pa rin. Bring us inside and it's a miss again para kay RV Bring us. And nakakuha pa siya na, na napitoon pa siya na foul. So oh. that would mean free throws again. Ganda sana ng ball fake ni Bringas. Medyo uh, napalimod si Espinas. Natawa na yan, natatawa siya eh. Hindi lang niya natapos yung play. And to make it worse, fumal pa siya. Gandhi Espinas at the line. Former NCAA MVP. Former certified Halimaw. Halimaw is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a And, uh, you know, I think you know, now, now that he's you know, in the twilight, twilight years, you know, you know who you need to get out of here. You see him! 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 It's a lot of Espinas. A, a, a prospect himself. BCU you know? was all about Gabby Espinas, not Jason Castro. Oh, that's think true. about that. John Bondo offline on the three. De La Torre will track it down. Nilingay kay Espuelas. Bondo, lumapit na. Espuelas, alanganin ang pasa ni Gio Espuelas. You can even make an argument going back to that. That even Rob Sands was more popular and better than Jason Castro. That time. Nung time na yun. Oh. Pero syempre, it's a different story. Jason Castro, what a game-winning three. What was that, game one, no? Uh -huh. After that Barroca shot, what a game that was. Here's De La Torre, binigyan kay Escuelas, back to bring us. It, it just seems clogged at the moment. Correct. Correct. And, and, and they're trying to force uh, force it to our RB Bringers. Nobody spaced out on the three. Everybody was inside. You explained it perfectly, my friend. The lane was clogged. You got to have shooters on the outside. Coach Frederick has uh, some things to sort out for his team. Ron Lastimosa has not uh, played that, that much. much, that much uh, even with James Castro, no, uh, settled with Paul Trombo. Uh, next game, it's uh, Valenzuela coming off a big win against Manila. Taking uh -huh. on uh, a Montenupa team that uh, has uh, dropped its uh, last two games. And mamaya, it's Kaloocan and uh, Rizal. Position po ng mga teams yan, yung nakikita nyo sa pangalan nila. 10th in their division, while Rizal is 4th. At doon naman ang... Uh, Isa rin sa mga paborito ko sa kapilang uh, sa game mamaya. Sa Rizal? Sa Rizal, yung uh, Caballero. Caballero. Oo, oh, yun naman ang uh, papanoorin natin mamaya. Ah, ako, paborito ko rin si Jonathan Banal. Ah, talaga? Oo oh, nga. Hindi na nagla... Head coach. Head coach. <laughs> uh, former teammate. Yan, former teammate namin nila Mark Sarangay sa Navy. Yung uh, 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 sandal, panandali ang nag, uh, nagsundalo kami. 
Akala ko nga si Jonathan hindi na babalik eh. Galing Amerika. Galing Amerika. Tagal doon, bumpan doon. But he was announced even before the pandemic, if, I'm, if yeah, my memory serves me right, yeah, Rizal, diba? So he's really the first choice of Rizal. And obviously, bearing fruit right now is Jonathan Panal. Ang ganda ng team nila. Young and dynamic. Correct. Oh, may mga veterano, pero ang dami rin. Uh, Jolo Mendoza, obviously, a big part of that. Maki Acosta. No. Espinas. Fade away is good. Another buzzer beating basket by Sarangani. So that's five points already that Bataan has given up. You can make the, art, the, the the case that they should only be down, you know, by... That's 11 points. So should have been down by six. Six, right. Thank and, you for that. Oh, uh, <laughs> siempre, it's, uh, it's been a... It's been an up and down uh, quarter. May mga hard fouls. May a couple of ejections as well in the third. But it was about Sarangani keeping their boys in the face of uh, Bataan's uh, early, uh, early strong start in the period that all Gio Espera had his moment. But uh, you think about it, it's uh, uh, Sarangani. And now they have an 11-point lead going into the final period. Starts the fourth with possession and an 11 point lead. Look at the quarter scoring. Sanangani doing the biggest damage in the second. Outscoring Bataan 27 to 15. Well, we mentioned, if you remember, halfway in the third, Bataan was leading the quarter in 11, 11 to 9. And Gabi Espinas, because of that last basket to end the third, picks it up right away to start the fourth. Look at this one right here. He attacks his left shoulder, a little up and under move, concentration, should be fouled. That's easy for the former NCAA MVP. That's easy, but it looked like a very difficult move. Had no vision of the of the rim there as he went under. Pero grabe, ando pa rin yung concentration and control ni Gabby Espinas. He's got 11 points now. Alam mo kung saan nagsimula yung magandang run niya ngayon? Free throws. Right. Okay, useless loose ball foul. Well, alam mo, itong si Gabby Espina, so coming off the bench again, just like in the last game nung nanalo sila against Montinlupa. Remember, last game, wala rin si Kim Jimenez. He had 13 points in that game off the bench. 11 in the third quarter. Kung saan, when they made their run, a beautiful pass by Espinas on the cutting. Pero Mingan right there, which spelled the difference a little ngayon. Kaya lumayo sila. They had, you know, the the biggest lead of 14. Nung larong ngayon, all because of Gabby Espinas. De La Torre trying to answer. No. Pero Mingan, nagmamadali. Doesn't have the numbers. But oh. Pero Mingan switches hands in midair. And a beautiful finish for the Sarangani guard. Natawa pa itong si uh, Coach John Callios. Very pleased with that play. And siyempre kay Gabby Espinas. Look at this one set up. That's the switch right there. They're bringing this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet on the win. Pero Mingan. Showing us the moves. As he gives Sarangani its biggest lead of the ball game. Timeout, ang Bataan, 18 point lead for the Marlins.
Bataan uh, down 18. They were down by two earlier. This was 58-56 kanina as uh, Din Kurumingan has eight points. has been a spark plug off the bench. Kanina, 58-56 to, so it's, uh, it's an 18-2 run. Right. Balik na si Torado and Castro. Lastimosa for three. And short, Sanga. Taken away by Torado. Bondo, easy two. Dave Perumingan. Straight post. Base lang kay Gabby Espinas. And it's RV Bringas. The double team, Andoy, trying to make his move. Fires a three, pasok yan. Sinukan pa yung depensa. Hesitated on the close-up. Little jab. Lumayo ng konti. Pasok. Here's Castro. Attacks. Lastimosa in rhythm. Wala pa rin. Rebound, Mackie Acosta. Gives it up to Perumingan. Tay si Andoy. Lead is at 819 at the moment. Pick and pop. Where's Estrella? Nasta staying in front, but Andoy, the skilled, one of the most skilled and the craftiest players in the league, scores. So they get a 21 point lead for Sanagan. And that's a smart play, not only because of his ability, because he knew James Castro. You know, was not going to be aggressive because of the four fouls, and he takes him to school with that move. Look at this one, Sidav. Anytime Andoy Australia sizes you up between the legs, crossover, he has that ability to finish over the defense, especially against a smaller defender. Chris Dorado to do the baseline inbound. James Castro against Gabi Espinas. Castro Matras goes to Torado. Corner three. Wala pa rin. They've been struggling from beyond the arc. Uh, Bataan. Uh, they have for the game. One for 21. That's more than a struggle for me. You're being yeah. nice. Torado with a steal. Castro to Bondo. Bondo. Trying to improvise and uh, that's great defense again. Uh, look at the three point shooting. Christian, one of 21, 10 of 25. That's a 27 point differential in terms of three point shooting. Yeah, it's been the difference to this game. It was the difference in the first half. And clearly, the difference so far in this game, Judy Fowl to stop the break. Kahit na lamang na sila, no? Nang 21. Australia, smart play. They go inside, RV. Defensive foul on RV Bringer. Nasagot yung tanong natin, sino kapektado doon sa pagkawala uh, ng dalawang player? Bataan. No. Bataan. Oh, kasi tikit pa eh, nung uh, panahong yun eh. No, and I think itong ano, uh, Sarangani had a de has the deeper roster. And sa sitwasyon na to. Here's Andoy Estrella. Pick and pop. Oh, nice pass inside. Kakapasok lamang yan. Two points ka agad. Si Umalde caught napping was Castro on the backside. In this and layup. And the putback from RB Brings. RB Brings right there. Three kanina. They, they missed a few gimmies. At the rim. At the rim. And, uh, you know, parang... Doon na lang kung di nakaka-convert ng uh, Sarangani on the other end. 11.16 now. Where are we bringing us? That stays that way. Deep Perumina. Okay, uh, Doi 
Australia. Five and a half minutes remaining. Andoy. Oh, what a play. What a move, Andoy Australia. Parang bit bit niya si Torado the whole time. Oh, driving to his right, finishing on the left. No? Ang ganda nung finish niya. Kita-kita yung English ng bola sa rin. Swak eh. Board ring lang tinamakan. Board nymph rather. Look at this one. The ball screen. Bring us something not to help. All the way to the basket is Andoy. That's easy for him. Dela Torre for three. Yes. Let's see if it's the start of something good para sa bataan. Andoy spins away from trouble. And again, the left hand doesn't work. Torado. Bring it to De La Torre. De La Torre to Torado. Gilmar. Almost a steal. Inside they go to Gabawan. And selfish play there. 85 to 67. Four and a half minutes remaining. Pero Mingan. Gabriel! Yeah, just slow mo, pero effective. Ang galaw na yun. Bring us to the other side. RB bring us. Might be a case of too little, too late. Para kay RB bring us and uh, Bataan Risers, Kamaya Coast. Still a lot of time though to me, four minutes. You know, if he could complete this, maybe get some stops, force some turnovers, make a mini run. Puede pato eh. 18 point lead. Here's Australia. Ah, lift. <laughs> you have to be careful here. There's the stop. Yeah, Bataan can hit a three, make it a 15-point game. If he hits, if Bataan hits a three, he could probably force Coach John Callios to call a timeout. Here's Castro. In <laughs> Ayaw. Inahayaan lang yan, no? yung mga players niya, the Miss Cafe. Oh. Yeah, 87 to 72. Your worry is you, your coach John, if it goes down to single digits with two minutes remaining, and that could be a cause of concern. Dangerous decision right there by Omar de taking it to the coffin corner as he crosses half court, but they break the press. Three by Andoy. Ivani Castro. And there's a team that can put points on the board in a hurry. That's Bataan. Right. I thought that was a wasted opportunity. The La Torre was wide open on the right corner. Pero Castro not spotting him. I had foul off the ball. Sarangani over the limit. Two shots. Para ni bring us. He could add to his uh, stellar production double double. Let's see. Uh, RB. Just three of eight at the line, though. So your RB bring us. Three of nine. One, one uh, aspect of uh, Mataan's game uh, that has been a problem is their free throw shooting. They are just 12 of 27 at the line. 15 missed free throws in this ball game. Well, they were already 6 for 15 in the first half. Uh, that's something that Baba Ligan definitely uh, coach, coach, the coach Frederick. Under three minutes remaining, 14 point lead for Sarangani. They have the ball. Here's Adoy Estrella. Estrella against Castro. Step back jumper, no good. Agawatsa rebound ends up with Pedro Mingan. Castro is away. Castro will finish. They were asking for a foul. 75 to 89. Two and a half minutes remaining. Total 
Alfred Romano has been solid in this ball game. Five to shoot. Romano uh, attacking. Lost the handle. That's a shot clock violation. So halfway into it. Castro. Babasila kay Pringa. Still get the deuce. I was about to say, halfway into it, no four minute mark, this is ocho to, ngayon, two minute mark, dose. Two minutes remaining in the ball game. Estrella against Castro. They get the switch, Acosta for three. No. Rebound, Gabawan. Here comes Bataan, Dorado. Binigay kay Bringas, inside, RP! If not score, he'll get two free throws. It was a tough angle on the board, but still had a chance to go in. Ended up as a good foul. Especially how RP has shot the ball from the line, but he makes the first one. Makes this one, it's a 10 point game, 136 remaining. It is a steal by De La Torre, but ends up with Piromingan. Piromingan ahead to Gomaru, and he saved it. Nakuani Acosta, and he scores. And that might be the game right there, especially if they get a stop on the next defensive possession. Almost a turnover. Tiptoeing at the baseline. Look at this. Save and assist by Gumaru. And also the fifth foul on James Castro. And that's just poor alertness by Bataan. Because they, they, they were caught ball watching you know, as Gumaro was saving the basketball. That should have been a steal and a layup on the other end. Instead, it's a two points for Nakia uh, Costa. And that, uh, him and Mark Sarang has a really solid debut uh, for uh, them in a Sarangani uniform. Yeah, and foul. I think it's still free. Yeah. Get in the penalty. 91 to 80. But Taksimo Sana, a foul on uh, what? Just a 14 foul, we'll have to get a penalty. We're going to play the foul game here. That ball away from Romaro. Five to shoot. Romaro. Sanga for three. No. Gabawan with the rebound. Jumper on the way. No. Offensive rebound. The battle right there. They'll review this. Yung uh, follow the floor is Sarangani. I think this is going to be Bataan ball, at least from our angle. Let's see it right here. Yeah, this... oh, 
wow. Yeah, this is tough call, but it looked like Pero Mingan was the last one to touch it. That right hand. 36 seconds remaining. And all over, but the shouting here. Uh, it's been a long 36 seconds. Ball will stay with the back. We have two more games here. Bringas against Gabriel. Veromingan with a steal. They give up the foul. Again, another impressive win by Sarangani. Not only without Kit Jimenez, but also Ivan Ludovice. And this time it's against a team over 500. But from 7 2 will be 7 3. And, and this, this team is number two in the north. Correct. The Nambaka Pitanta, the division. So, what for three? Wanaparet. Gabriel. Donas Romaro. I'm wondering why they're still fouling. Where. Uh, and uh, bring us. May mga bagay sa buhay talaga. You just left to wonder. So let's just leave it at that. But nonetheless, you gotta give credit to Sarangani. Missing a lot of players, not only the two guys that we mentioned, they're also missing guys like Escalambre. Um, Danny Marilao. Danny Marilao. Reggie Boy Basiba. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if that's because of injury or coach's decision, he's not on the bench. But still, it's always impressive for a team to win, especially if you're winning without your 